Good afternoon, colleagues. When I was a young and relatively naive teacher in the late 80s, I believed that the values of public education were self-evident. I thought that society would treat teachers with the respect that my colleagues and I earned every day in our classrooms. Within less than two years, my provincial government began its assault on the value of public education in the name of fiscal responsibility, and my naivete began to disappear. Less than 10 years later, former Premier Ralph Klein pushed through wage rollbacks in the public sector, and my cynicism escalated. That was decades ago. And now public education is still under attack across Canada because too many right-leaning governments are still in power. Their rhetoric of austerity and privatization and their willingness to enact regressive legislation continues to threaten publicly funded public education from coast to coast to coast. Long before the pandemic, Government budgets reduced funding for special needs students, eliminated teacher positions, unilaterally changed high school graduation requirements, removed principals from their union, eliminated protections for LGBTQ plus students and teachers, and removed restrictions on limiting charter schools and oversight of homeschooling. Continued underfunding of public education means large classes with too many complex learners taught by fewer teachers. This reality will be exacerbated by ineffective government planning for school reentry in the fall. Other long-standing issues will be intensified come reentry: child poverty, mental health concerns, aggression in classrooms, the lack of support for inclusion and the resulting increases in moral distress and compassion fatigue. These are pervasive and perennial, and they were magnified after COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic in mid-March. These issues at the, are at the heart of what we experience as teachers. We will continue to find ways to address it, be it through bargaining or media campaigns or discussion with decision makers at every level because our colleagues, our students, and their families are counting on us. Once upon a time, I planned on teaching secondary social studies. History fascinates me, from when I lived in Europe as a child to now, living through my first pandemic and watching the resurgence of the fight for civil rights through the Black Lives Matter movement. Today's activists inspire me. When they see something wrong, they speak up, they organize, they demonstrate. And in doing so, they not only show us that we all have work to do, they remind us that many voices raised together cannot be ignored. Everyone in this meeting advocates for publicly funded public education. We wouldn't be here otherwise. And now, more than ever, we have to do it together. We must take what we know and share it within our member organizations and our communities across the country. Society noticed when we exercised our pedagogical expertise to redefine what school would look like during COVID. We rose to the challenge of emergency response teaching with grit, integrity, and creativity. CTF FCE, in hosting national Zoom meetings since the middle of April, broke down artificial barriers and created a space that gave the leaders of our member organizations regular opportunities to share knowledge and strategies that, in turn, helped our executives and members work together through the pandemic and towards re-entry. Colleagues, I listen to learn, seeking to turn knowledge to insight to wisdom and then to action. You all bring your own unique combination of abilities to the table. We must work together to move on the priorities that drive our advocacy and our action. We must engage our communities who now have a deeper understanding of why we do what we do. Now, when we hear the mantra of public austerity to stimulate economic growth, when governments seek to cut more resources and devalue and reduce our conditions of practice even further, we will have more allies. We must continue to seek solutions that will increase our respective members' engagement and commitment to work with us, for they are the ones who will reinforce our message that a strong, 
publicly funded public education system is something for which we will fight. The Canadian Teachers Federation has been our federal voice for 100 years. From its inaugural meeting in my hometown to our first virtual AGM in everyone's hometown, this federation pulls member organizations together to listen, to learn, to support, and to advocate. It has been a privilege and an honor to sit at the CTF FSEO executive table this year. It would be a greater privilege and honor to continue that work for the next two years as we use our collective wisdom and experience to take action for change. Let us use our voices, bolstered by colleagues and allies near and far, to expose those who chip away at the foundation of that which we love so dearly, public education. Let us fight for what we know our children need to grow into the best humans they can be. Let us fight for our colleagues who need our voices raised together to defend our profession. Let us stand together, strong, united, and unwavering.